Hi, welcome to So She Designs. My name is Shalisa, and thank you for stopping by my channel. In today's video, this is going to be a Friday Souls video. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of what I have going on for the week, some life updates, as well as some makes that I made this week. So stay tuned if you think this is something that you're interested in. Okay, before we get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to Jen. And um, her channel is Today in Jen's Sewing Room. She created this platform and it has proven to be a very um, great platform for me. I am enjoy the, enjoying the YouTube sewing community. Um, I've When I first started looking for people who sew on YouTube, I didn't think there were very many, but I guess the algorithm or whatever that YouTube does, it shows you who they want you to see or whatever. But um, lately I've been seeing more and more sewers, so that's very exciting to me. So I'm glad that you tuned into my channel and we're gonna get started with, um, I guess some life events this week. This week I had um, my Christmas party with the group, my sewing group that my, I'm a part of here. And we, it was very nice. It was more like a, it was a potluck. Um, I want to say it's maybe about 50 people came. It was very, it was, it turned out to be very good. Also in the party, we did a table where you could bring fabric, excuse me, fabric and patterns. So we did a fabric and pattern exchange. So I know I've been doing pattern hauls all, <laughs> all week. So I'm going to start with that so we can get it out the way. But I did get three extra patterns from the um, party. And this is, uh, this is a, just a McCall's pattern. This is 7709. I got this for my grandchildren. And I just, I picked it up because it just looked really easy and simple. And it's something that, that I probably could throw, throw together in less than an hour. So I thought this was a cute little pattern. So I got that. I found this is Vogue. It's, it says Vogue Basic Design 1870. But I got it because look at all of the, um, the different style dresses that you could do. I thought that was nice. What is basically, what is it, two? You could do long sleeve, short sleeve, short, long, but I thought that was so cute. And I th I'm hoping it's an easy mate, but I'll see. I'm looking actually looking forward to um I want to try this view. Right here, the long sleeve, and it has like a little turtleneck. I'm not good with um stuff really tight on my neck. So I might make it into like a cow neck where it kind of hangs a little bit. But I think that's a very cute view. And that was one of the reasons I got this um, this pattern. Along with this one, I think this will be cute for springtime. But this right here. I'm not really crazy about my arms being out. This is cute as well. But these two are the ones I really like. And we're going to see. I wish it had the little, I guess it's like a little bucket hat. That's a really cute hat. I wish it had the hat pattern in here. But it doesn't, but that was nice. And I got another Vogue. I thought this was a Vogue cute dress. I like this this view. And I figured that was something. I have some material black and green. And I and when I saw this pattern, I was like, oh my goodness. Because I've, I've had that um, fabric for a long time. And I'm like, oh, that would be cute um, with that fabric that I have. So we'll see. So those are all the patterns for... 2022 about another pattern which we only have like what a week or so left but a two but i'm not going to be buying any more patterns so um that was kind of my um what i did as far as you know lifestyle stuff i also got some um fabric from the party as well i got this vinyl and if you've watched my videos you've seen that i did um I make bags and on my bags I put my label on it so I got this vinyl and it has this long piece hanging off 
this piece, this other piece is probably big enough for me to make a bag or add to a bag, but it has this long piece hanging off. I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna try making labels with this and see how it does. Cause I don't know if you saw my video, but I was really surprised at the faux leather of the, um, Oh my God, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree faux leather. It did really good when I made the labels out of that. And that's all this is. Well, this is a, this is a better quality, but it, it still should hold up to my uh, my little heat press. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take, cut off a little piece and I'm gonna try it and see. So that's one, uh, that's one thing I got from there. I got this fabric. This is a knit fabric. And it was so much of it, but I think this is gonna be a beautiful, a beautiful um dress for springtime or summertime. I think this would be so cute and comfortable. This is this was so pretty. Like I was watching the lady when she was putting it on the table, and I was trying not to be greedy. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give everybody a minute to look at the to look at the fabric nobody picked it up I said, oh okay it was for me <laughs> i found this black because i needed some black i needed some apparel black fabric and this is i don't know if this is like a rayon but it's 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 quite a bit of this so i figured this would be a really cute dress yeah i got some big pieces for it to be a fabric um a fabric swap. And these next two pieces, I figured these would be a cute little girl's dress for the springtime. If not, I would definitely use it for the lining of one of my bags. And I thought the way this was made, it would be cute for maybe like a tank. I may be able to even get like a little short sleeve, but the way it's made, I figured this would be a cute like tank top shirt. I thought that was cute. And I got this, this was the last bit of the fabric, but I got this fabric with um, a blazer in mind. I saw the lady put this on the table too. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. That'd be such a cute, either a blazer or a or the poncho. I, I shared those um, patterns with you this week. So I got two blazer, yeah, two blazer patterns. And I'm sorry, sometimes my brain and mouth don't work together, but I got two blazer patterns. I And one of the blazer pattern has a vest on it, which this might be cute for a vest as well. And I also have um, the poncho pattern, but I thought this was so cute for a jacket, um, the poncho, even the vest. This would be cute for the vest. And then I could make a, a dress this color, a long sleeve dress with a cow neck. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm looking at this and thinking out loud, but I just thought this was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And apparently I got more patterns that was at the bottom of my bag. Oh, this is an easy to sew pattern. And um, like I said, I'm doing a, a beginner's sewing class. So I, I, I tried, I've been trying to pick up easy to sew patterns for those, those people who want to, like they may know something about sewing, but they, you know, they need, they want to sew something and learn. So the best way to learn is to go ahead and make something. So this is easy to sew, but I do like this view right here. And I like this nice long jacket. Not for that. That's gonna be something else. But this jacket looked like you could do the jacket and the pants. Maybe like something like linen or something. That would be cute. But I got this because this was easy to sew. I got this because I like the cow neck. It was vintage and I just thought that was so cute. And I got this before the, for the first fabric that I showed you, the knit fabric. And I thought that fabric would be go good with this pattern. So that's what I'm gonna make with this, with this, with that fabric that I showed you. With this, 
I thought this would be cute. This is Simplicity 8657. So I got my hand on it, but can you see it? And then this is the this is the first views. It's actually four views. I never seen that. They usually do A, B, C, D, but they have one, two, three, four. But the dress is what I'm thinking for this. And it should be enough. If not, I'll just do the shorter dress, which is number two. But I think this is enough. I think this would be cute with this. I also got some more fabric. And I watched the curated curvy. I watched her channel. I can't think of her name. But the name of her channel is curated curvy. And she did this little bag that she saw on Pinterest. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's so, so cute. So last night I made my version of the bag with fabric that I also got from the party. So the colorful, I'm gonna show you the bag. So this is the bag that she made. It has little ruffles on it, like a little ruffle top. She put a bow on hers, I put a bow on mine, but on the other side, I have a pocket. Oh, I need that. I have a pocket with ruffles right here, and this is one of the tags I made out of out of the um, leather. You see the bottom. Now the only thing I got from the party was this colored fabric. The rest of this I already had the black and the lining. That's how I did the lining, and I also made a little pouch to match. So a cute little pouch. At that reuse center that I go to, I think we get zippers for like um, 25 cent or 50 cent, something like that. So this is an older zipper, but I was like, for a little pouch, that would be cute. So I've stuffed it with paper so I could keep it big. But that's the lining and the little pouch to go on the inside. These, This is no pattern. I made this up um, just from watching what she did. You, tote bags like this are pretty fair are fairly easy to do if it's somebody who wants to um to learn how to make this bag i can do a tutorial this one was extremely easy i did um i needed to make my ruffle piece longer because you can see it's not as roughly right here as it is right here and this is the effect that you want to get the whole time but overall i, I thought this was so freaking adorable <laughs> it's so cute my little in my little bow. The bags I made this week are all just freestyling. This is what I came up with. No pattern. There's no pattern to tell you to, to go to. This is all, all what I just did on my own. So I did this one with the little faux leather at the bottom. My label. The little faux leather handle. This is the cutest one to me. I like this one. And I did pockets on the inside. This was just some scrap, um, uh, um, not upholstery fabric, but I guess like curtain fabric or something like that. I guess it could be upholstery fabric, but I made, I did this the same inside and out. I think this is really cute. I made this one. This is probably the least favorite, but it's so cute. I think you could put like a bottle of wine in here. And I guess it's my least favorite because this lining, it should have just remained a lining and I shouldn't have put the top up, up there. But overall, I still like it. I think it's cute. And these were just scraps. These were like the, um, these are scrap leather and scrap pieces of the um, upholstery and textile, I mean not textile, upholstery and um like curtain fabric that I have. I had a lady give me a lot of that because she knew that I like to make bags. So this is just like a sample block. And this was a sample block. And then this was a sample block. And I made this little skinny bag. And this is the inside. But I love the handles. It turned out really cute. I love the outside. I just, I'm not crazy about the trim. But I think this is a cute, um, you could put a wine, wine in here or, I don't know, it could be a gift bag. 
a reusable gift bag. And this is the first one I made this week. My little label on there. Put a little faux leather fringe. I see it's curling up. This is my first time trying this, so I'm, I guess it's gonna curl up all the way around. I'm not sure. But maybe I should lay it flat because it looked like it's doing it on this side and not on this side. So maybe I need to lay it flat somewhere. But I made the handles. And I lined it with the same one as I did the other bag. I've been had this, I've had this lining fabric for years. So I was like, oh, it's time to use that up. But no, there's no closure. This is a tote. But I'm satisfied. And I made this one because um I'm gonna make a diaper bag. And I think I showed you the fabric that I was gonna use, but then I found this fabric when I went to Hobby Lobby. And I felt like this blue was more um, cohesive with the the um, the denim fabric that I'm going to use. It just looked better to me. So I made a little pouch that I'm I'm going to include with the diaper bag, and this is the inside. So today I was waiting on it. It called for I think six D rings. So my D-rings came today, so I, this is what I'll be working on the rest of the weekend. I'm gonna make that diaper bag. But this is the this is the this is the material. It's gonna be this and denim, and on the inside is gonna be what's on the inside of here. And this is the pattern that I'm using for the diaper bag because times have changed. Young moms are not using the old style diaper bags like I used when I had babies. So. It's more of a duffel bag, and I figured this is probably better for her because this is the first. This is the first grandchild, and I, I know my nephew's always. He already saying that the baby's gonna be over his mama house every weekend. So I I picked this bag just because I know she's gonna be a little traveler. But it's Simplicity Eight Seven One Zero, and I'm gonna I'm doing View B. This is view A, I think. Yeah, this is view A. This is large, and this is a, a smaller size. Let me see if it gives me the size. Yeah, view A, the big one is 20 inches long by 20 inches wide and 11 high. So the view I'm making is only 13 inches long, 7 in width, and 9 high, which I think is a perfect size for the baby and her stuff. Especially if she's going to be going for the weekend. That's like a perfect little weekend bag. And I already had the pieces cut out, which I was thinking I could have at least put the interfacing on it last night. But last night I was making bags. <laughs> I made the first bag and that little coin purse with it. And this other bag last night. So after that, I was a little tired. So today I'm definitely going to go do the... Uh, I've already had the pieces cut out. I'm going to do the interfacing and get that ready so tomorrow when i get up all i have to do is sew so this is i'm going to be making this this week this week i also have a couple of patterns that i already have cut out and one of them is a nightgown i've already showed you that um material it's a sheet that i got from a thrift store with snoopy on it for christmas so i'm going to finish that nightgown well, not finish it, get started. I'm going to finish that. I also have another shirt that I'm going to do that's already cut out. And I'm going to do that this week. The dress that I'm being crazy about and been talking about, I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week because I'm also going to do my entry for the Little Red Dress Challenge because if I'm not mistaken, it's due next week. I think it is. So I got to double check on that. I think that's due. So I'm going to get started on that as well. So those are all my plans for the week. Thank you so much for staying and listening to my videos. I appreciate the love that I'm getting. Everybody's being really, really nice. I've had some lovely comments, and I just want to know that I appreciate that. It motiva motivates me to keep on going. Um, every day is not easy for me, just for health, health reasons. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I try my best to get what I can get done. So I was really excited to do the bags because uh, one reason I did it, because they were short. 
it, was, it wasn't going to take me long to do them. And, you know, what can you do? It's, you're giving the life that you're giving, and this is the life I've been given, so I choose to make the best of it when I can make the best of it. So I decided to sew bad so I can have something that I completed and was finished, and I could see that I did something this week with myself. So with that being said, thank you again so much for your support in my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please think about subscribing. And please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week. Happy sewing and go sew something fabulous.